Ah, oh, something's going on here. <laughs> We're going to just go quick, take out those. Move him up there. Wait for it, and then move there. Then move there. Tactics, wait until the last step. There we go. I should get him. Nope. Okay. This is going to be a game of cat and mouse for a little bit. Oh. I can keep him in this location. I might be able to catch him there. Oh, damn it. This, this is... I'll just... Uh, what shall I do? I'll go Siege Kiva. Oh, no. Kiva's not part of theirs. Uh, I'll just stay here. <laughs> I don't really need to worry about it. I might, this episode is probably going to be called the cat and mouse games. Oh, is he going to run away? Yes, he is. Right. But now we've got the entire place, so we should be fine. I really need some more men on there. Maybe some cavalry would help. Oh, reforms. Foreign training methods. Land organization. Research points when conquering is a bonus. That's good. That's going to really help. Because we're being a you know very emper empirical. Bukar becomes a puppet. That's good enough for me. And we did that without even attacking them, so they retain their army. Which I never thought about, but is a really good idea. Move those ten back there. And then we can relax. We've got Bukara on our side. We've got Macran. Which still has no standing army. I don't know how we're going to solve that really. But, um... Bukhara is the main one we've got now. That puts our military strength up to... 29. 18 plus 11. So, what's Afghanistan's right now? 19, but they're still allied with Russia. I'm probably going to go for the Ottomans again. They're going to keep accepting and never joining a war. Or, um, exiting the alliance. Just gonna clear these messages here. What's Sweden doing? Oh, military access. Go to all these. Soldiers still being encouraged. Twenty-two out of twelve. So really, we nah, we can't really reinforce many. Not to worry though. I don't know why it's gone down. Oh, it's probably because we're really screwing over our soldiers. I am not gonna use that. For obvious reasons of they would destroy us. But for the minute, I think we're just going to keep going. Everything's looking like normal. Is that the Dutch and France having a war? The French-Dutch war. Oh wow, this is quite the war. Venezuela and Brazil are being involved in this. I've never seen this happen. Seems they want Norway to be um, released as well. And that should be probably, yeah, the same crisis again. Liberating Belgium. So it looks like that wall ended inconclusively. Oh, did they get a little bit here? No, they didn't. No, that's still all... Dutch territory. But we do it. we've got a fairly good empire for itself now. We've got Persia, we've got Macron, we've got Bukhara. Afghanistan I want, but it's allied with Russia, so we can't really have it. Did they break our alliance again? Why do they I'm just gonna follow that. I'm gonna follow this for a couple minutes. Because they keep breaking alliance, so I'm not sure why. Hmm. Also, are we being... Let's find us. What are we? P, 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 P. Persia. So the Russians are uh, dominating us at the minute, it looks like. On terms of being um, sphered. But that's good. 
Being speed is a good thing for us. Gives us some protection. Also, is going to increase our tech gains by quite a bit. As literal percent is going up, which is good. But really, we've just got to keep attacking things now to try and gain that, um... Okay, cook and... I'm going to take that. I really want to get Kiva. Kalat is actually going to be worth it. But the problem if I, if I attack Kalat, Afghanistan's going to join, then Russia's going to join. But if Russia doesn't join, we'll be fine. And if Russia joins... No, because they haven't speared them. I was going to say, if Russia joined because they were defending a sphere member, they can only declare status, uh, status quo. But because it's an actual alliance, they can probably ask for something back. Whew. Send Panjab still. 26. I mean, I don't know if he can take them. We're still trying to build clippers, but until we... We could probably cancel those. Until we have um, some tech and we have access to the world market, we can't really get them. What about over here? Are they British? Yes. Hmm. We're in a bit of a sticky situation here. I, nah. What's a trade? Right. Any movements? No decisions? Ah. No more will the foreign dogs grow far after sweat by people. The time has come to seize all assets owned by outsiders to be cared by the state. So we're going to nationalise. Which we're going to do. And when we get our literacy that high, that's going to be good for us. Ah, 1% more literacy, we can get that decision. I might actually be able to, um, I'm not sure if that gives us access to more things. So I'm just going to see. Uh, it doesn't look like it, no. So really, there's still not much we can do here. This is a really boring country to play, think of it. It's a lot of waiting if Russia gets involved. But we're going to go for Kalat and just hope for the best, I think. Make puppet. The hope is that Afghanistan joins and Russia doesn't join. That's the hope. Because if that happens, then we can win this. If uh, Bukhara joins, which is going to, with their 20 men, we should easily be able to take this. So I'm going to line up our troops. I think... Uh, the 18 there... Is going to go into here and take all this. The 18 here can move into there. The 12 here can move into there. And the 18 here is probably going to move through there. A better idea actually might be to join these two and just go for an assault. Right, Kalat puppet. Let's hope this works. Call allies. Makran has joined. Why isn't Bukhara joined there? A puppet. Call I. There we go. I was worried for a second there. I just forgot to alliance them. I'll do that later. Right. So what we're going to do is make 30. Kukan has also joined. Which means we've essentially won this. There's not much they can do here. I'm going to join these two to make 27. And we're going to charge after the 23 over there. Why isn't... Ah, damn it. I forgot to make them move together. Rookie mistake. And where did my other army go? Were they just completely defeated? Oh, damn it. This is not... Turned out great for us, really. Looks like I underestimated them all quite a bit. 
Oh, I don't even know if it's worth making more troops. 3k more. It's probably not going to cut it. But it's all we can do. So I'm going to get that extra infantry and we're going to move this guy down here. Up here we're going to let him siege. If I can of send attacks there we can send this guy in. There's a battle that went on there that I completely missed. Austria. Well, I'm not going to deny it. See if we can catch these guys. We should have won this easily. Move him into siege here. Let them dig in. If we take Kabul, that would be quite a good... Give us a lot of war score for taking a capital. It is going to take a little bit longer though. How's the war going? We can can we not propose peace to collapse? No. Afghanistan is a war leader now. Oh. They totally accept that. Let's go for it. There we go. Our empire is coming along pretty nicely now. We're gonna probably fall back for a couple of years. Let um our puppets start building their armies again. Where are they going? To a supply limit 20, is that? That's fine. I have one army up here. Which will park there. Britain, sure, they probably have some Indian stuff that they want to do. I'll just say it's 9.4%, another 8%. Oh, it's Bump up. Let's do a couple of years of losing money to bump up this education. Then when we get it to 10%, we can take that uh, decision. I think it's 10%. Uh, above 10%, yeah. And then that will give us a ton more research. So we're just going to let that tick now. Give some time to uh, fuel up our armies again. Lower taxes on the lower class. Try and build up some more soldiers. It's going to be pretty difficult, really. But now we've got, you know... Actually, I need to uh, get some alliances going with these guys. Two more alliances. And we've still got Kokand as well. Have we got the Ottomans? Of course not, because they wipe it for some reason every single time. But now... Kiva should be a possibility. I mean, if the Ottomans don't come in, if not, we can get we can definitely get um, Sindh and Punjab. That should be easy. Oh, I'm gonna take a drink of water. Ah. And I think this is a good place to end off. The first sort of... Uh, this is my first recording session. I'm not sure how many episodes this is going to be. But this is going to be the end of it. If you want me to uh, continue playing Persia, leave a comment. If you want me to change to play, I don't know, someone else. Like, the North German Federation just got joined. That's a really interesting country to play. Try and get full Germany formed. That could be interesting. Netherlands, keep trying to protect um, Belgium. Let's get that. We can get some more stuff now. Uh, hmm. Uh, construction. That should be good. But yeah, we could play the Netherlands, who still have Belgium. They're doing really well at this point to still have it. France is always fun because you're kind of powerful to take whatever you want in Europe. Austria is kind of fun, but they're probably going to die out soon. Two Sicilies form Italy. We could play as Japan. Try and westernize that. Get some uh, of Indonesia, maybe take Korea. Empire of Mexico, that's pretty good. Ally with Britain, so they're probably going to be fine for a while. You know, you could play Sweden. Try and get a great power through there, form Scandinavia. We've got a ton of things we could do. So uh, leave a comment in the, you know, the box below. If you want me to keep playing Persia, you want me to play someone else. And uh, again, thank you for watching. If you want to watch the tutorial videos still, there'll be a annotation right now. 
If not, just thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.